Could a Nikola Vucevic trade be on the horizon for the Chicago Bulls? Well, we got a new report suggesting that the Bulls are looking to trade Nikola Vucevic this offseason. What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Bulls Report. My name is Patrick Seatman as we have a juicy, a juicy show to dive into today as when I got this report that the Bulls are looking to trade Vooch, I was so excited. But also later on today's show, we did get a report that talks are going cold between DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. So we'll go over some destinations for him as where um, I think he could sign if it is not Chicago. But before, but before we dive into the Nikola Vucevic report, if you guys could help us reach 8,000 subscribers here on the Bulls report, that would be fantastic. We need 430 of you guys to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to make chat sports history and have the most subs picked up on a video, that's the number. So hit that subscribe and lock us in as your go-to Chicago Bulls YouTube channel. But this is a report coming in from Matt Moore. If you guys don't know him, he's got around 154K on Twitter, and he's a pretty tapped in NBA insider. And he said the Bulls are known to be looking to move Nikola Vucevic along with the never-ending Zach Levine saga. The Caruso trade both helps and hurts those efforts because Caruso's contract was a quality lubricant for teams willing to take on those contracts, which now isn't available. But he said the Bulls also don't have to consistently try and pull more assets from interested teams in exchange for adding Caruso. He's off the board. It's clear that either way, the Bulls are positioning Kobe White as the face of, or as the future of the franchise and when I got this report I just had three words popped up pop up into my head just do it Chicago just move off Vooch by any means now we did get reports that um that a team that could possibly be involved uh with a Vooch trade could be the Golden State Warriors we'll dive into that here in just a second as some moves made in the second round by Golden State are indicating that they could be moving off Andrew Wiggins and Chris Paul in possibly efforts to land Vooch. But, you know, my biggest takeaway is the youth movement is here, and there is no reason to keep the likes of Vooch, of guys like DeMar, of guys like Zach Levine, because you got your young core now of Giddy, Buzelis, uh, Ayo, Kobe White, and Patrick Williams, all under the age of 24, and actually uh, Giddy, 21, Patrick Williams, 22, and Buzelis is 19, turning 20 here shortly. So the youth movement is finally here in Chicago. Could a Vooch trade be coming up? But let's look, talk about some teams that could trade for Nikola Vucevic. I think number one, we got to talk about it, the Golden State Warriors. And, you know, originally I did not think this would move as actually Bulls legend Mike Dunleavy, you know, running the Warriors now. I don't think he would be interested in a Vooch trade, but we did get a report that the Warriors made a play for Vooch at, la at, at last year's NBA trade deadline, and they've actually been a very big fan of him for the past couple of years. And then also, I do want to get this report out from Bobby Marks, as he actually did just delete that tweet, but he was necessarily saying that we could see, um, or no, it's right here. He said the transactions by Golden State Today, signals that they will not be a first or second apron team. Both will be triggered. And then he was talking about them possibly moving off Chris Paul and Andrew Wiggins. And I think Vooch could be a potential trade target for the Warriors if they really want to capitalize you know, on the last years of Steph Curry there in Golden State. But what's another team that could be interested in Vooch? How about the New York Knicks? And, you know, do I think the Knicks, or do I think Vooch fits with what the Knicks like to do Is they're a tough, gritty team who obviously, you know, focus in on the defensive side of the floor? And obviously that's not, you know, Vooch's calling card, but, you know, most likely the Knicks are going to lose Isaiah Hartenstein. If I have a bold prediction here, Isaiah Hartenstein signs a two-year massive deal with the Oklahoma City Thunder, so they won't be able to retain him. And we heard the rumors around them possibly moving off Mitchell Robinson. Maybe they try to get Vooch in there as, you know, a big part of the Knicks offense. If you want to talk about, you know, offensively here for a second, they love that push shot. They always have their centers diving to the middle of the floor near that restricted area. They always train their guys. And, you know, this is a Tom Thibodeau special. Um you know, having those guys work on that push shot. So maybe the Knicks could be involved in a Vooch trade. Maybe it's Deuce McBride and maybe a heavily protected first-round pick or second-round pick, whatever it may be. But I could definitely see the Knicks getting involved. But also the Indiana Pacers. Now, you know, the Pacers did just lock up Halliburton last offseason to a massive deal, and then they did agree the terms with um, um, 
uh, Pascal Siakam this offseason. And, you know, Wendy, he was on the Pat McAfee show when Tyrese Halliburton was on uh, the program, and he was saying he expects the Pacers to be aggressive. So could they potentially pair up? Vooch, Miles Turner have a big old front court there in Indiana, and you got Turner as that, you know, defensive stopper, has the ability to stretch the floor. As we know, you know, even though Vooch shot a low percentage from three this past season, he has an ability to stretch the floor as well. They can run a little five-out offense, which I do think, you know, obviously favors what Indiana likes to do there. So I could see the Pacers getting involved, but also what about the New Orleans Pelicans? You know, even though they did just draft center out of Baylor, Eves Misi, I don't necessarily think he's going to be ready right away, you know, to get solid rotational minutes in the NBA. But, you know, why the Pelicans? Well, Jonas Valanciunas, is expected to depart from New Orleans during free agency, and they just need an impact big man to play for this organization. So I could see the Pelicans being another team that could be involved in the Vooch sweepstakes here as, uh, you know, I think the Pelicans are one of those teams where it's like, you know, obviously that we've heard trade rumors around Brandon Ingram, Zion, you know, all those guys, but they got a lot of good talent over there. And CJ, you know, Trey Murphy, Herb Jones, like they're going to want an impact center at that five spot, and maybe looking at Vooch as one of those guys. But you guys let me know. Predict it for me. Will the Bulls be able to trade Nikola Vucevic? Give me a Y for yes or an N for no down in the comment section as I really do believe a Vooch trade could be on the horizon for our Chicago Bulls. But let's shift gears to DeMar DeRozan here and get you guys the latest on him. As we did get a report that he is – um. Uh, that he is, or that talks have gone cold with him and the Chicago Bulls. Uh, this was after the Bulls did trade for um, Josh Giddy when they shipped off Alex Crusoe, kind of indicating that a rebuild or a retool could be on way for Chicago. So maybe DeRozan could be looking elsewhere. But some DeRozan destinations, well, let's talk about the Chicago Bulls because I think it's a three team race to land DeMar. And I could see DeMar, you know, he. You know, love Chicago. He's talked about it. And, you know, I can see DeMar almost, you know, embracing a leadership role for these young guys. He's talked about how much he's enjoyed, you know, developing Kobe White and Io over the past couple of seasons. And also he's a big fan of the city of Chicago by saying the city is great. I love the city. The organization has been great. It's definitely a place I would love to return and take care of unfinished business. Now the question becomes, though, does DeMar want to be a part of a rebuild? At this stage of his career, I think DeMar is 35 years old. Let me double check that real quick. But, you know, at the stage, yeah, 34 years old, turning 35 on August 7th. So, you know, would DeMar be open to being a part of a rebuild? That question is still out there. Um, you know, but I just think DeMar at this stage of his career, I think he's going to want to go chase a championship. And I don't necessarily think that's the best idea for him um, to resign with the Chicago Bulls. But another team that could be interested, how about the Los Angeles Clippers? And, you know, the Clippers, they're, I'm assuming they're going to trade Paul George. We've heard a lot of reports coming out there um, that they could be moving off the, you know, West Coast forward. But, you know, this would be such a Clippers move. Like, you know, just call it like it is. Like, they brought in Westbrook, they brought in Harden, they bring in a bunch of these, you know, West Coast guys that are older in their NBA career, and hopefully they can, you know, squeeze, you know, the last bit of juice out of them. So I could easily see the Clippers, especially if they, you know, do strike out and aren't able to, you know, retain Paul George. I could easily see them, you know, throwing DeMar DeRozan the two for 60 or two for 80, you know, that he has reported that he wants. So keep your eyes out on him. But what about the Philadelphia 76ers? If they have been a team that is, uh, was reportedly in on OG Ananobi, but he is returning to the uh, New York Knicks, so they struck out on him. They also had reports that they were interested in Paul George, but PG said he wants to stay on the West Coast, so I don't necessarily think you know that's too likely anymore. So they're probably looking around with that max slot, max slot still available, and they're probably saying, what about a guy like DeMar DeRozan? And that's actually my prediction. If I had to call where DeMar DeRozan's going to play his um, basketball next season, I'm going to lean Philadelphia on this one. Um, and I don't know. I just got a gut feeling that we could see DeMar, you know, here in Philly for the upcoming year. But you guys let me know. Would you re-sign DeMar DeRozan? Give me a S for sign or a P for pass down in the comments section. I've been in the camp. I would pass on this. I just think the Bulls just need to go in a different direction. But maybe you guys disagree with me. Maybe you guys see the locker room value or you guys value that a little more than I do. 
Now make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We're going to have a video coming out of some potential UDFAs that the Bulls could sign tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that. We'll have a video coming out in the AM. Then also free agency starting this Sunday night. So if you guys don't want to miss out on anything around your Chicago Bulls, hit that subscribe button. Lock us in as you go to Bulls YouTube channel. And just thank you guys so much for following uh, you know, this draft process along with me as it's been a wild NBA draft for the Bulls. So thank you guys so much. See you all next time. As always, go Bulls.